Hey guys, it's Jessa and this is a template tutorial. I can't wait to show you around one of my favourite pieces of software for stationary editing. Just before I jump in, I wanted to let you know that I am actually using a Firefox browser on a Windows computer. If you are a Mac user and you hear me say the word control, for you it will be command. And just quickly, this tutorial is actually not for mobile or tablet users, sorry. Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to set up multiple pages per full size page. Now, the reason that we do this is typically when we're printing at home, we're printing on full size paper. So if you're in the UK or Australia, that might be A4 size paper. If you're in the US, it might be letter size paper. And the idea is to save on cost as much as we can and fit as many of the design per page as possible. So it's really easy to do this. It's literally just three little knobs that you turn on in template. I'm going to show you how to do it now. So when you log into template and you've edited your design, everything's ready to go. It'll be center on your screen. Go to the download button at the top, hit download, hit PDF. Now these three options here, they'll be turned off when you jump in. So they'll look like that. They show up. Now we've got show bleed. Now bleed is a little bit of extra design around the edge of the page. And we actually chop that off and that is because printers typically they print with like a white margin so you have to print a little bit of extra design that you trim off to get that really nice edge to edge finish trim marks are the little lines of the page that show you where to cut and then we've got the save paper option and that is what tells it to lay out as many per page as it will as will fit so i'm going to turn all of those on now you've got the choice of us letter size or a4 I'm going to be, I'm in Australia, so I'm going to select A4 and I'm going to hit download. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope it was helpful. This tutorial is actually part of a series, so if you jump on over to my channel, I've set it up as a playlist. Finally, if you have any questions or have an idea for a video you would love me to make, please drop them in the comments below.